Hi there. Um, today I'm doing one of my weirdest houseplant videos yet. I kind of pride myself on that, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to pot up my Drosophyllum, my dewy pine plant that I bought from California carnivores. I did do a seed germination video in the past. That one was not successful, unfortunately. I think that I scarified the seeds too much. I thought I would do it again this year, but then kind of woke up and it was already like June. Thought it was a little bit too late to start from seed because I wanted to try to put the plant out for the summer. So I checked online and luckily they had one, so I just grabbed it. <clears throat> so for this one, um, they package it in a lot more plastic than this, but it's interesting. There are more layers here. They apparently pack this with moss and then inside there's a peat pot that you're supposed to just place into the larger terracotta pot to avoid root disturbance. Um, and apparently this is a species that's really sensitive to that. So you try not to disturb the roots, you try to just put that peat pot into the other substrate. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have this substrate that's pretty similar to what I um, used before in the not successful video, unfortunately. I think though, like I said, in that one, I scarified the seeds too much. I don't think that the, um, the substrate is necessarily the problem. Uh, asked some other growers around here in the Pacific Northwest about this, and um, they use something similar. So this is almost all perlite. There's some pumice mixed in, there's some horticultural sand mixed in, and some peat as well. Um, I probably used 80% perlite, uh, maybe 5% pumice, 5% I would say, horticultural sand, and the rest, that last 10% or so, is peat. Uh, the guidance they gave is a handful of peat, so it's a little hard to gauge, but let's see how this this goes. I was just shooting for like some basic kind of conductivity um, of water. And you can see here, um, yeah, there's a little bit of peat in here, but it's the vast majority is minerals. All right, so we'll see how that goes though. Okay, so I will zoom in and now start taking this uh, plant apart. This should be interesting. I've never really seen packing like this, so... Let's get in here. Apparently there's a layer of this on the top. I'm going to try not to disturb it too much. Um, and then there's a peat pot in here somewhere else. So, still don't see the peat pot. <laughs> I really hope, uh, hope I got this right. I'll post it anyway, even if I just, I'm like, disastrously pulling apart the plant. Um, but yeah, I'm trying not to dig too hard just in case that is disturbed. And oh wow, there's actually a lot more plant under here than I th thought, which is cool. So maybe there's kind of new, newer leaves than I uh, thought I was kind of getting with that. Wow, it just kind of keeps going and going. Um, really thought I would see peat pot by now? Oh, whoa. Okay, actually, here is the peat pot. It's pretty soggy and kind of pushed on the side. I was expecting a square, or a, sorry, a circle one for some reason. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of gently pull around kind of the base of this plant and just make sure I'm not like pulling anything like a, a rhizome or something out. Um, Okay, yeah. All right, wow. Yeah, that peat pot is definitely already degrading, which I guess is good, but um, I really don't want to damage it. This is a little bit more tricky than I thought it would be. Um, gosh, okay. Uh, yeah, I expected this to go a little bit more quickly. All right, at this point, oh shoot, that really shook a lot. Okay, at this point, I'm going to stop digging this out. I'm just going to stop right here. I'm going to take another approach that they recommended or said like, oh, if you can't get this out, use scissors. I'm now going to find some scissors and try to just cut this. So we will see how this goes. All right, I see the peat pot over here. I have some kind of sharper scissors. Let's see if I can cut it. A little bit difficult. It's kind of well. Hmm. Nope. Didn't really. 
up super well. I guess I have a break here that I'm going to try to... Uh, no. I feel like I'm going to kind of disturb it just from doing this, so I'm a little bit puzzled, honestly. Um, and I do think that I'm cutting the peat pot by doing that. Um, they said you might want to score it, um, but I'm, I'm reluctant to just, like, pull... Just, like, pull it out. Uh, or try to dump it out, because I think that will really disturb the roots. But, oh, hurt myself. Okay. I think I have one of the sides cracked. Yeah. Um, huh. Okay, this is really in here. I think what I'm going to need to do is crack another side. And really try to... Be as gentle as I can. It is a little bit difficult though. It's a thick plastic, um, so it's kind of shattering instead of just, you know, kind of snipping or something. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this again. I'm trying to get too deep. Um, this is hard though. Gosh. Okay. Oof, that's not a good sound. Okay. Okay. All right, I have two sides. Gosh. Um. Hmm. I feel like I need a tool. I'm now getting like an IKEA spatula. I'm not joking. <laughs> Seeing if I can. Gosh, maybe. Should I cut the bottom? Well, the bottom doesn't look super easy to cut either. Um, wow. Okay, seeing if I can separate the sides easily. Oh, yeah, it looks like I can. Um, huh. Okay. Looks like I can kind of slip through the sides. Um, hmm. So, gosh, if I were to, yes, I wonder what would happen. Oh, okay. So I feel like I have a spatula under it. Uh, this is. Not super easy. Okay, the spatula is under it. I'm going to try to lift the entire thing and balance it. And okay, miraculously, I think I have it. Okay, I'm just going to put this into the pot now. I may not, may not be able to move the video or sorry, the phone, unfortunately. So one minute. Okay. This is how this ended up. Um, huh. <laughs> okay, I am not going to even remove a bit more peat. This does seem like a lot of peat to be in here. I don't think I need to score it anymore. They talked about scoring. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say, hmm. If I had any suggestion or, you know, to do something differently than I did it, maybe this is something that you just, you need to plant, like, instantly. I waited a day or two, and I wet it, just thinking, like, okay, I need to get the substrate together. I'll, you know, just put this in the sunny spot, and it seemed okay. But maybe at that point, the peat was kind of getting gooey and stuck to the side. So that's a possibility. All right, I'm going to get this substrate and put it in kind of like right now, though. Okay, I just got a spoon out. I thought I would, would not need to do that necessarily. I could just pour it. I thought it would be a lot smaller. But, yeah, let's get this in here. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to try to take some of the peat 
out and try to get to the substrate itself. Because I can see now that there is a layer of substrate that isn't just this, this, uh, sorry, not pee, the sphagnum moss that seems to be at the top of it. So let me get it in there. I just don't want to disturb the roots that much more than I already have since, you know, root disturbance is like the issue with these. Um, but yeah, let me get this in here, get this part stable again before I start yanking at the top again. Okay. Okay, this is not a super pretty operation. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. They say to put these in um, 8 inch pots. This was called a 7.5. <laughs> that was the largest one that I had on hand. Um, I've seen them in smaller pots though. I think it should probably be fine. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the smallest pot that I guess they recommend, at least uh, they being the many voices that I saw online. Um, but yeah, I, I think this should be relatively stable now. What I'm gonna do is remove a bit more of the, um, the long form sphagnum moss that's on the top here and expose a bit more of the substrate that it came with, um, or at least expose it kind of to that line. Okay, so I'm gonna take more off. Um, hold my breath a little bit. Okay, so you see the peat pot here. It's kind of like floppy. Some bits have come off of that, but I did see, it's interesting. I, I don't wanna go too deep and see already there, it looks like I'm kind of going below where I should, like below sort of a rhizome sort of area. Um, this is a lot of moss to put around here though, so I'm, I'm kind of reluctant. Like you can see under here, you actually get to, um, uh, to a layer of substrate. But okay, let's see. Look down here. Um, yeah, that just feels a little too exposed. I don't want to disturb it too much, right? And maybe I already have. Um, but yeah, let's see. Seems like a lot of this is here. And here, yeah, you can start to see. Yeah, you can start to see like the line, right? Um, I think you can see in the video. Yeah. Like we're seeing, you know, utric utricularia or something down here. So maybe I should remove all of this. I think it might be a case where I, I call them and ask. Um, they're really responsive on the phone, California carnivores, that is. So yeah, that might be in order. Um, but yeah, for now, okay. I hope this helps someone. <laughs> Again, I don't, oh shoot, I don't think there's going to be a ton of people, you know, uh, needing this video, but hey, maybe you get one and you weren't sure what to do just like I wasn't. Um, yeah, but that that is that. I will call um, California Carnivores and just ask if I need to remove the rest of this moss all the way down to the line of the um, of the substrate that they sent it in. But yeah, not the prettiest looking thing right now, but I am very excited for when this wakes up. There's a lot of new growth on here. I hope I didn't disturb it too much. But um, yeah, I am very excited for this plant, kind of despite all this, uh, this uh, you know, reluctance and being unsure about what to do. <laughs> um, yeah, again, hope this was helpful and good luck with yours when you receive them. Thanks.